Hi, my name is Sean O'Kane with Chip Estimate TV, and we're here at the TSMC OIP Forum 2012 at Santa, uh, San Jose Convention Center. Here with John Blyler, we're just uh, uh, talking a, a little bit about uh, some of the attendees here, yep. um, some of the interesting things that are being discussed and are in the technical uh, uh, tracks. Yes, yes. And uh, if, we, if we just take, yeah, we just take a little walk, and we have some like semi.org, which is really interesting because we did some, some videos right. at the Semicon West, which in a way was a fit in the EDA industry, specifically with DFM. It is, it is. So you, you might think the manufacturing, the heavy equipment, the back end doesn't fit, mm -hmm. but for the EDA players, for designers it does because of yield issues now at the very low nodes and uh, manufacturability. So very much a fit. Uh -huh. and, no, no, absolutely, and, and uh, today ARM and uh, TSMC had a nice an announcement uh, specific to uh, FinFET. Yes, and, FinFETs, yeah. so those new 3D structures, right? <laughs> so I, uh, one thing we should find out is how IP is going to have to change, how the spice models are going to have to change, is it a big deal moving to FinFETs? We should talk to someone about that. Well, John, well, yeah. one person I know would uh, be the best the to best? talk about really? the FinFET. All right, who's that? Mr. John Heinlein, right here. But of course. Hi, Sean. All right. Hi. How are you? Hi, John. Hi. You know, we were talking about yeah, a number of things, but one of them was yeah. the uh, <laughs> one of them was the the FinFET, which is a big deal. The move to to this new 3D structure. My question, or what I was wondering, is how is that going to affect the uh, IP providers? New spice models. Uh, it seems to me there might be some big changes. Well, one of the things that ARM does with our physical IP is try to hide complexity. So rather than have designers designing right on the bare metal of, ex of all the transistors, what we try and do is aggregate logic functions into standard cells, memories, and by doing that, we're abstracting away some of the complexity of these new transistors. So here in our booth, we're showing first physical models of uh, FinFET transistors. Here's a conventional planar transistor. Here's a FinFET transistor to give people mental intuition as to how these transistors change. In this video, we're showing how uh, uh, the transistor works functionally different, but then more importantly, to the earlier point, is what are we doing to help model this transistor in a new way and help hide that complexity so when designers use it, they can use it in a more conventional way with more conventional EDA tools, and a lot of the changes are hidden. John, could you talk a little bit about the keynote with Simon today? That was uh, that was pretty important. Yeah, so Simon Seegers, our executive vice president and general manager of uh, physical IP and the Proster division, uh, gave the only outside keynote today. And what he spoke about was both broad and narrow. Broad, he spoke about the importance of collaboration and how uh, by having an open platform that promotes uh, innovation from many different companies, uh, ARM and the ARM partnership has enabled this kind of innovation we've seen over the past 22 years of ARM's history. So we're very excited about that. But then narrowly and specifically, he talked about the need at the leading edge mm -hmm. to make sure we're jointly optimizing our technology solutions. So we talked a lot about FinFET and the road to FinFET and how we're specifically optimizing our next generation V8 processor core in tandem with TSMC on their 16 FinFET process, so the result will be highly competitive early and reducing risk for customers. So when uh, all these technologies come out, uh, customers can get their solutions to market much more quickly. That's what it's all cool. about. Cool. All right. Hey, thanks for thanks. spending a little time with us. Appreciate it. Thank you, John.